Good morning. Another fresh week here on the boat. Um, I've actually been across one day this week already with Gary, and he's worked some magic. But before I show you what he's done, Danny's back. Hello, I'm at White Station. This is my first day back on the boat since... This year. Yeah, this year. And it's like, what, the 13th or something? Um, a lot has changed since I've been here. It's very nice and cosy. It's nice to not see loads of wood or mess everywhere. I'm sure it will get messier as the day progresses, but still. The green walls make it look complete, but Gary has done an incredible job and we are forever in his, fa in his, in his favour. Is that right? Look at these beautiful doors. Oh, they're like better than I could ever have imagined. They're really thick as well. We've got this one and we've got the one into the bedroom. Oh, it's cold up here. Oh, it's cold. And this one. Mind your fingers. We need to get a handle and like a latch, latch um, from both. But yeah, really, really pleased with them. It just, oh, it's just lovely. It's all coming together now. Yeah, um, we've moved this up into position as well. Mm -hmm. So this is minor crap on top, but where this little workbench is, we're gonna have a section out here. And that is basically it, almost done. <laughs> It's nearly there. We've like, I've kept putting different like time frames. I know it's just going to happen when it happens, but like when I want it finished by and Christmas was one that we've missed, but that's fine. The next one is Pancake Day because it was exactly a year ago to that date when um, our boat was craned into the water. Yeah, so we didn't start work until like a month after that, but yeah. it'd be nice for it to be about a year. I've already invited Louis and Nim round for pancakes on Pancake Day, so it's got to be fans. done now. <laughs> Oh, I don't know, like, I know you did a video last week whilst I was in isolation, um, <clears throat> but some of the things I don't feel like you included whilst we were still, like, because we did a little bit, like, oh, it wasn't did, like, worth filming. Painting. Like, painting, yeah. Yeah. Little bits that weren't worth filming, because otherwise it would have just been piddly, but, like, over the Christmas period, we sort of just came and did, like, the yeah. odd bits, like, painting and, yeah, some of the trims and stuff. Um... But yeah, now I'm going to finish. Today I'm gonna maybe paint the ceiling. I'm just gonna do this all in the bedroom, paint the ceiling. And also I've already um, put filler on these bits, so sand that back in and paint these. And then pretty much the bedroom's done then. Yeah. Other than the ply, which we're waiting for. Oh, for the bed. For the bed. Yeah. Um, what are you doing? My job's today, mainly plumbing, and getting as much plumb as I can, do can finished within this stubble so we can hopefully get the plywood up at some point and then start looking at the water heater. I've got loads of plumbing fittings so I've been researching on what I need. Hopefully I've got enough to do what I need to today. If not we'll pop to the shops. But <laughs> Is that um, I don't know if I want to go out there actually because it's a bit cold. Oh you move the doors open. Can I paint the ceiling in here? No you'd be Mm, will you put my way? Not re sort of, yeah, you will, really, yeah. Yeah. Made your tea, eh? Thanks. Oh, so much room for activities. Look at it all. And then, thank you. And then, whatever, however way the door comes out, because I don't know how I imagined it, but obviously the door, I'm guessing you're wanting it to go the whole way back, because otherwise it's a bit like. What, this? Yeah. Because yeah. I wanted to put quite a lot of stuff on the wall there. Oh, I see. Yeah. Well, I don't. <clears throat> for the sake of storage, it only needs to open about there, doesn't it? Yeah. Um, and also, whatever way that comes into, I want to get a big, um, like some sort of shelving yeah. bit here. Yeah. So, for well, up to, as long as that deep, probably up to there would be alright, wouldn't it? Yeah, for, for like bit storage on that wall then. bits. Yeah. Oh, it's getting there, isn't it? <laughs> the pressure's on. I don't need that bit. You do, mate. Back. Hold that, film yourself. Look that up with your ponytail, don't you? I won't do too much. Oh, I've got hair everywhere. What do you want from me? A haircut. Ow. 
So I am going to sand these bits of the walls and then give it a top coat of white because as you can see in the bathroom it looks a lot cleaner than that. And then I can paint the ceiling, I think. And do the other way around. Mama knows Clever boy got time to waste, but nobody got time for school. Drinking up and smoke cigars, no one he'd be sick for days. Clever boy got time to waste. Whilst Danny starts on a bit more decorating, I am going to do some plumbing. Now, I'm sorry, I've lost it. If you remember last week, I said I wasn't going to use a bottle trap in the sink for the kitchen um, mainly down to space really and I've seen quite a few plumbers don't like them because they can sort of block up quite quickly in when they're being used for like food waste and stuff so I had this line about and this is just a little bath trap and it actually works really well and it gives us more of a runoff than even just connecting directly to it with one of the flexi wastes if you have a look something like that actually goes back up the bottom of the sinks up in here so it still gives us a nice bit of runoff only thing I'm gonna have to cut a hole in that to let it through but that's not the end of the world and then gives us quite a decent runoff down into that pipe one of the things I hate over here is having to keep stop start when I'm doing research because we use my phone for filming and also use it for googling stuff so I've actually brought my laptop over today done a little bit of ordering for a reducer down from 40 mil to 32 mil waste it's just so much so handy having it over here without having to stop recording got it connected up to a little tp link um router or router with a sim card powered off a battery pack and it works really well it's actually better wi-fi than at home <laughs> just going to clear this wall off so i can get a better idea of what space i've got for pipes and whatnot Pop them all in here. Oh. <laughs> Hang on, I'll let you out. The door's a bit stiff, isn't it? Because <laughs> we haven't got any latches on the door. Where the boat's leaning into one side at the minute. Oh, you got out? We can come let you out. I put a wedge under the door. <laughs> <laughs> God, it's cold up here. You got the door open. Mm. What for? Dust? Mm. Have you got any more of the um, filler? Yeah. All prep, and then we've got to mask it up. Yeah, but I'm going to fill Fill these and then do it all in one go. I would um, put the cushions away underneath. Mm. There's plenty of room under there still. Yeah, let me get this off. They've already got green paint on them. Have they? Oh, well done. That was clever bringing them over, wasn't it? Huh? Whose idea was that then? Well, it would definitely be yours, wouldn't it? So good to have you back. Just cut myself a bigger access hole through here. Oh. Mm, easier said than done. Oh. tea we're coming up to the water heater so I need bore through that I think the bottom of the water heater comes below this 
cold in there, hot out, gas in, no, hot out, gas in, cold in, so cold food coming up. Then you come along, do it in one piece, then bend it up through. Got roughly from there. stopping for a bite of lunch until it's January because it's a bit healthy. So we got lentil tabbouleh which is a classic and one of our staple dishes in the kitchen. We've also got a new thing that I tried which is orzo pasta with chickpeas, olives, passata, pomegranate seeds. It's nice wasn't it? Mm, lovely. Next I need a pipe to go from to tee off for the cold feed on the mixer. No, I'm talking to the camera because we're vloggers and I'm filming myself doing some plumbing. I have been making sure all of the nails, some of them weren't in properly with the nail gun when we used it. So we've been pushing them in or nailing them in and then filling them. So I'm gonna wait for this to dry, sand it, and then give it a nice coat of satin white. Nice. I'm gonna rig up the hot feed that will come from the water heater and then down into a tea, one for the bathroom, one for the kitchen here. I'm wondering why there's a tea on that one because I still need to run the washing machine to apply cold feed right the way down around and then to there. Right, that's me done on the hep to open. Hang on. You put them in. Temporarily. They're on an angle. What? They may be like that. What? They look like they're chiseled out. Yeah, that's like so it's adjustable. Mm. It is quite a wide hole for some reason, I don't know why. Cute. That one's it? a bit further out than this. Yeah, and no, I didn't put it in properly, mate. Just, God, that's what you said, temporarily, just like so I marry the hoses up. Can I sand this down or do you need to be in it? Um, no, I'm not planning on being here actually, so yeah, you crack on. That's me done on the... Drop them down, let me see them titties. <laughs> <laughs> That's me done. Mate, do you know what I'm trying to... Oh. I tell you, I'm, sure, I'm glad we got these doors in. Thank you, Gary. You're staying there. Right, that's me finished on the 15 mil plumbing side of things, I'd say. Now I'm going to connect this up for the waste and also get this one a bit closer to being ready for the waste. We've got a hole to drill. Are you blowing through the door? <laughs> Honestly, nurse mine. Do you mind? <laughs> Do you feel it? Safe to say, I did not miss you. <laughs> I'm going to drill a hole through here for the waste of it. Oh, for God's sake. Hung up. No, that's your one, that's dirty. Oh, well, yeah, I hung up and then you took it away then. Please shut the door. Like 
I connected the waist up whilst I was letting my phone charge. It was about the best way I could think to go from push fit to like a, I don't know what you'd call it. I don't know, what's that called? I don't know, it looks a bit bodge though. <laughs> The actual mm. pipe finishes here, but I thought obviously the longer piece you got up here, the less likely it is to leak. Not pretty, but it works, or should work. And I've just taped that end off for now. Do you want to pour some water down it? Bit scared, but yeah, right. So you went. Just go steady. You keep an eye, see if that trap leaks as well. Yep. Right, I'm ready here. Yeah? Yeah. What? Yeah. I can hear it. Right, that did a minute. What's wrong with us? <laughs> Put the kettle on and I'll explain a bit after. These are so rubbish in the cold weather. I can't wait to have proper gas. So as I said earlier, it's just me here today. Um, bit of a long story, but basically Joe bought a van, which he intended to convert like we did with Mabel. It's only a small one, but nevertheless, he just can't seem to have one project at a time of this, as if this isn't a big enough project anyway. So he bought the van knowing that it needed a clutch, the clutch changing. So he asked one of our friends who's a mechanic to do it. He said, yeah, that's fine. So Joe bought the part and he was doing that yesterday. Our friend only has the unit that he's using, which is off his friend, until tomorrow. Um, when he took apart or went to replace the clutch, he realised that it needed two other bits. Um, one which Joe can get locally from like a shop that has car parts. Another bit is just seems to be impossible to get. There's one in Lithuania and there's one in Middlesbrough. So Middlesbrough to us is like probably four or five hours, maybe a bit more, like each way. So it's a long old drive. Um, and Joe's prepared to drive there today to get it because obviously we need to get, or Joe needs to get this done so we can get it out of the unit otherwise our friend's going to have to put the van back together but it's not completely, then have to tow it and then have to do it again and it was just, just going to be a long old hassle so just so happens that my cousin lives in Middlesbrough and he's coming down tomorrow to see his dad so we've now roped my cousin into going to get the part for the car by him which is like 25 minute drive from him to then bring down tomorrow so then Joe can finish this van or his mate can finish the van so Joe's gone to get the other part in Avonmouth today and then hopefully he'll come join us but honestly I could kill him why does anyone else's partners just seem to buy vehicles and oh my gosh anyway today I am going to be 
sanding off the um, tongue and grooves, the bits that I haven't finished. I also need to sand this roof in here. Our next step is going to be bringing the sofa in, which probably seems a bit um, ahead of ourselves considering there's still work. But once I've done all the sanding and the painting, hopefully, other than like, you know, making the um, breakfast bar and stuff, it shouldn't get too messy. But we need to bring the um, sofa in before Joe puts the stud balls up for that because otherwise we're not going to fit it in here. It's going to be a struggle anyway, but I have seen the sofa on quite a few narrowboats, so fingers crossed it's going to fit. As you can see by my breath, it is freezing. Oh, I just can't wait to be on here properly and not have to keep coming back to a cold boat and just keep it ticking over. First things first, cup of tea, warm up, and then get sandy. We're going to focus on in here first just because I feel like this is going to be the most important one in order to get the sofa in and just to be out of Joe's way whilst he's not here. So first of all I'm going to move all the kitchen stuff into the bedroom just because it's horrible and it's all dusty all the time. Everything's dusty, everything you want to use you've got to wash again. So I've sanded both sides of the walls now. I'm gonna just let my arms rest a little bit and then I'm gonna sand the ceiling and then this room's ready to go. <sighs> Had a bit of a sit down for probably longer than I should have, but the fire is absolutely roaring. So I am gonna get on with sanding the roof. I might have to do it in stages because it was quite difficult or really hurt my arms doing the bedroom and the bathroom and this is longer than both of them put together. So see how we get on and then I can start painting finally. Just under halfway. I've just done one of the boards. I've got about, well, there's two and a bit in the living room kitchen area. It really hurts holding your arms above your head. I salute anyone that has a job like that or plastering or something. I think I'm gonna finish sanding this and then paint the walls rather than the ceiling just so my arms can have a bit of a rest. sanded one blister later and the ceiling is nice and smooth so now I'm just going to mask up these um, and then move the curtains again and then get painting so I finished masking up in here that didn't sound right so I finished masking up in here Joe's on his way here now so I'm just going to wait for him to see if he can um, take these out a bit easier than me and also pop the lights out. I don't want to break the ply. And uh, we're ready to go. Morning. Hello. Get on. It's not morning anyway. Don't kid yourself. <laughs> Sorry, I'm late, kids. I thought fire would. Got the part? No. Well, he's ignoring my messages on eBay. You paid for it? Yeah, paid for it last night. Messaged him twice. There's no, like, address. Postcode goes to his house, so I might have to go around his house later on, just knock on the door. Or tomorrow morning, if you don't oh, yeah. message back, yeah. Um, so Michael's got the one coming down. There's one in Avon mouth that he's not messaging back, and there's one that I've got the post coming from Amazon that should be tomorrow. If not, they, they've got the same one, a bloke in Maratok. Which ain't too far. Fun. Um, this looks nice now with the yellow tape up. Reckon. It's all ready to go, I've got a blister, but can oh. you take these out? Well, all of them, you want them all off? Yeah, really. Just where I walk the drill down, wouldn't it? And also these. You want all the lights out? Yeah. 
Do it hanging down? I'm going to do these first because my arms ache. So just take these out yeah. first. Right. And then we'll do the roof of the tent. I need a roof. This was your, the brush you gave me. So we've nearly finished one coat, Joe has left to go get the part, when he came here he's still waiting to hear back from the guy who was actually the closest to us in even mouth. He's just there cutting in, huffing and puffing and he finally replied to him or called him so Joe then perked up so he's gone to see him. I am going to try and give this another coat just whilst the um it is dry just whilst the um curtains are down so we're gonna have to leave the curtains down overnight which isn't ideal but at least then if we get it done then we don't have to do it again um the temperature has dropped off and the fire's gone out so we'll see how it goes it's going to be a late night of painting i just finished a second coat on the walls um i'm going to leave the ceiling for tonight just because i'm tired and my back hurts um I'm off to work tomorrow in South Wales, so it's likely that it'll be just Joe's face that you see next time. But hopefully I get to paint the ceiling, or Joe will if he has had enough of the plumbing bits. But see you soon. Good morning, just me over here today for the last day of the week. Just letting the fire warm the place up, but as you've probably seen, Danny did two coats. I don't know if she filmed it or not, I can't remember, I haven't seen the footage yet. but. What a difference that second coat makes. Really goes with the green now, love it. I'm gonna pop the curtains back up and then a bit more plumbing. Sorry I lost you for a bit there, I got a bit carried away with the tidy up and I've also been, well I've been putting this off for a little bit but I'm about to run the gas pipe, I've just been sort of researching again, just double checking the regulations and stuff. My main worry was that um, it's going up in the gun wall, gun wall, gun wall, um, with electric cables. Now the cables are in conduit as you know, um, but as long as it's within or as long as there's more than a 30 mil gap between that the gas pipe and the cables in it's okay now i'm going to put some protective sheath in over the pipe itself <laughs> and i'm not actually going to make it sit inside the gun or such um but i'm going to use the little p-clips to essentially sit like that and then i'm going to use um either plywood or a piece of timber to frame this off which will sit on top of those and then they'll be like latched onto this so I can gain access and the pipe will actually be separated not only from the electric cable by the conduit but with a piece of timber as well just for a bit of added because the gas pipe's only running from here be teed off here for the water heat and then it'll run through the bathroom and then in behind oh sorry it's a bit tight in behind the cupboard So through the bathroom, behind the cupboard, but then I'll bring it down to run under the bed because then it needs to go through. Now originally, you can see this is double skinned. Now I haven't actually got access in behind there, it's too tight, so I won't be able to put fixings properly. So I'm gonna run it down underneath this bench and then into the gas locker which is in here. I hope that made sense, it probably didn't. So I've gone with half inch 
there's a lot of debate on forums and stuff whether you can use metric but the safest bet seems to just go for imperial it's hard to get all the fittings but obviously if it's safer mainly down to the gauge of the thing i'm not too clued up on it but this is what was recommended um the reason i've gone for half inch rather than three eighths of an inch which this is bigger um it's because we're having two appliances and you can never have too much gas but you can starve appliances with gas so if they were both obviously if you had the oven the grill four hobs and making hot water then three eighths was on the limit of what what was sort of capable of so gone with half inch better safe than sorry it's a lot more expensive but again you only sort of want to do this job once so just been checking the cables to make sure I can keep them 30 mil away minimum. I'm just gonna drill a hole through. Now I've slightly oversized the hole because whenever a copper pipe comes through a wall, uh, you can either add a bulkhead fit in, which in my opinion is another chance for it to leak because it's an actual connection or some protective sheathing, which I'm gonna have, which should arrive for next week's video anyway. So I'll put that on after. At least I can start guiding it through now. I think it's gonna be more awkward than I'd imagined with one person. Um, Gonna just need to shift this cable over a little bit, the conduit, just so I can get it past at a safe distance. Um, you know what? <clears throat> I think I'm gonna wait for the conduit to arrive because that is quite tight through there, and I don't want to run it the whole way and not be able to get the conduit on because that wheel fell. It's BSS. So until that comes, I'm not going to risk it. Just getting into that then. Um, I was just having a little hunt round to see if there's any little tasks I could complete to finish the week off, but without moving everything round, I think it's going to be more hassle than it's worth. So I'm going to call it a week. We'll see you next Sunday.